Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video I'm going to talk about my reading plans for the month of July. <laughs> okay, so honestly I'm not sure how exactly July is gonna go because some things recently changed and I just like don't know what to expect in terms of of reading. Basically we found out that we are not going to have childcare for a few weeks and so we decided to book a vacation. Not for the entire time but like we're going to be traveling for a week and a half in July. So that is likely to change the amount of reading that I get done. It also means that I'm going to have to like pre-film some videos and you might have a week where things are a little sparse but you know, we'll do what we can. So I'm going to tell you the things that are on my TBR. I'm also going to tell you I'm not totally sure how it's going to go because I have two secret reading vlog projects that I'm supposed to be doing in July as well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. That said, let's go ahead and start with the book club pick for my Patreon book club. Every month we have a different genre and patrons get to vote on a book that they want to read together and then we discuss at the end of the month in a live show. For July the genre was thriller and the book that won was The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. So I don't actually have a physical copy of this one but I do have an audio copy of it which honestly is going to be good that I have audio copies of a lot of the books that I'm supposed to be reading in July because I have a feeling that like audiobooks are going to be my friend even more than usual with everything that we've got going on. But I'm going to be reading this. It looks really interesting. It's about two sisters and one of them might be like a sociopath or something. I don't know. There's like family secrets. I think it's going to be great. So this is what we're reading for Patron Book Club. Then every month one of my patrons gets to pick a book off my TBR that they want to see me read and review. And for July the winner was Hadil and the book that she selected was Imposter Syndrome by Kathy Wong. I'm excited to read this. It looks very interesting. Obviously it was one of my book of the month club picks. It says it's a prescient novel about women in the workplace, the power of big tech, and the looming threat of foreign espionage. Um, so it's got like mixed loyalties and tech and business and I don't know it looks really interesting. So I'm gonna be reading this which should be fun. Just so we're clear the things that I'm reading for sure this month are all of my book club and Patreon things. So with that said let's talk about my other book clubs and read-alongs. For the indigenous romance read-along this month we have a historical romance. This is Her Land Her Love by Evangeline Parsons Yazzie. We will have a live show talking about this the last Thursday of the month which is when we've been doing them. This is our second to last one guys if you want to join in this might be a great month. This one is the first novel in a trilogy. It's a sweeping epic with a romance at the heart of it but it deals with the Trail of Tears and the author is Navajo. So really looking forward to reading and discussing this one. It's the one historical romance that we have on that list. Then myself, Ashley from Bookish Realm, and newly Laura from A Book Circus are all hosting a read along for the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. I'm really excited we're having Laura join us for the series. But in July we're going to be reading book two, that is Royal Assassin. So join us. The discussion will be the last Friday night of the month if you want to be there for that. And then finally for the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club, which I do along with Amanda from The Naughty Librarian, Mar from Books Like Woe, and Leanna from Liana's library. We're going to be reading Year One by Nora Roberts. This is like a paranormal romance or a sci-fi romance or something. I think it's dystopian but it's a Nora Roberts book so we're going to be reading this. This is Mara's pick so book club will be hosted on her channel the last Saturday of the month at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to join us we will be reading this which should be fun. Two physical books that I have for review that I'm planning on reading in July are Where the Rhythm Takes You by Sarah Das. This came out earlier this year. It's a YA contemporary debut novel that is a retelling of Persuasion by Jane Austen set in modern Tobago. So in the in the Caribbean and the island of Tobago and this sounds really great. I love a Jane Austen retelling. It sounds like a lot of fun. The author reached out to me to see if I would be interested and I was like yeah for sure send it along. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be reading that. 
that. I am also going to be reading The Witness for the Dead by Catherine Addison. This was sent to me by Tor. It is a companion novel to The Goblin Emperor that just came out and it's not very long so that one should be fun. Then I've got a couple of buddy reads that I'm supposed to be doing this month. I'm going to be reading The Gunslinger by Stephen King with Liana from Liana's Library, uh, the first book in the Dark Tower series. Excited about this. I think I'm probably going to enjoy it hopefully so that that should be fun and it's not a terribly long book. And then with Jess from Jess Owens, I'm going to be buddy reading Black Reconstruction in America 1860 to 1880 by W.E.B. Du Bois. Um, this is a tome, but I have it on audio and um, probably I'll do like a little bit at a time. This seems like the kind of book that doing it that way would be good. So I'll be listening to this one on audio and discussing with Jess Owens. So that alone is a lot. I may with Liana possibly also read The Viking Chief Marriage Alliance by Lucy Morris, which is I think kind of, you know, what it sounds like a Harlequin romance. I may read a couple of graphic novels that are on my TBR. I've got Jelly Ah by Junie Ba. This one is a West African fantasy epic. Or I have The Magic Fish by Trung Lin Nguyen. This is a YA graphic novel with some fantasy elements about a Vietnamese boy who's gay and is trying to figure out how to come out to his family. So both of those would be good. Graphic novels are, are great options when you're lower on time. Then I have a whole bunch of Earx on NetGalley for books that are coming out in August. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to read all of these in July. Hopefully I can get to all or close to all of them before release date, but here, here are some of the ERCs that I may be reading. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> what did I, like, what did I do to myself? Oh my gosh. Like, is this, I don't, I don't even know you guys. Okay. So we have The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gold, which is a YA horror thriller with a sapphic relationship. Gorgeous cover. We've got The Sisters of Reckoning by Charlotte Nicole Davis. This is the sequel to The Good Luck Girls, which I adored. Uh, it's the second book in a duology about a girl gang. It's kind of like YA magic meets Western. I have Casadora by Romina Garber, which is the sequel to Lobizona, which I loved. It's a portal fantasy with werewolves and witches. It's dealing with undocumented immigrants. I loved book one. Excited to see what book two does. Redemptor by Jordan E. Fuego, which is the sequel to Ray Bearer, a YA African inspired epic fantasy novel. Again, I loved book one. It was one of my favorite books last year and I'm excited to read book two. Mark of the Wicked by Georgia Bowers. I believe this is some kind of a YA horror novel. I don't remember the details off the top of my head, but the cover is very intriguing. Requiem of Silence by L. Penelope is the final book in an adult fantasy romance series that I've really been enjoying. I'm curious to see how it wraps everything up. There's also a lot of plot, like there's a lot of romance, but it's like heavier on the fantasy than some fantasy romance, uh, but it's it's been good. Living Beyond Borders is a short story collection by YA authors about growing up Mexican in America, which I think should be interesting. Devil in the Device by Laura Beth Johnson is another second book in a duology. This is a YA sci-fi series that the first book had so many twists and turns. I absolutely loved it. Cannot wait to see what happens in the second book. Also The Godstone by Violette Milan. Uh, this is, I want to say adult fantasy. Okay, this one I'm going to look up. I don't remember. Okay, so this one is the start of a new epic fantasy series with magic and danger where a healer finds herself pulled into a web of secrets and hazardous magic that could bring about the end of the world as she knows it. Uh, yeah, this one was offered to me and it sounded really interesting. A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee is a YA gothic novel. Um, at a boarding school. So many things I love. Also it's sapphic. I feel like this is going to be amazing. And then lastly we have My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones which is his latest horror novel. I don't know a ton about this. I think it involves like a haunted campground or something. I don't know but it looks great. So those are all of the August releases that I have from NetGalley. Did I go overboard and request too many things that I got approved for? Probably. But I will read all of them. Um, maybe not like way ahead of release date, but I will read all of them. I'm excited for them. So, whew. you know, as I said, I also have two secret TBRs that I'm reading for. So 
it's going to be an exciting month, everybody. Somehow it's going to happen. <laughs> um, talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for a question of the day, tell me what are your plans for July? Are you going anywhere? Are you doing anything? Are you just staying home? We're not flying anywhere, but we are taking a train a couple of hours away and doing like an Airbnb thing. So it should be exciting. It's the first time we've like really gone anywhere since the whole pandemic started. So I'm excited. Talk to me in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.